people, it's your Negro with aptitude and host of the Blackboard, Mickey Lee. Well, it's midweek over the hump day, and I hope you guys have been having a good week so far. Friday is within reach, though these days during the lockdown, every day is pretty much like Friday, right? <laughs> Anyway, if you're anything like me, you are using this time to try to do some of the projects you never seem to get to when you have the full load, including going to work uh, full time every day. Uh, at present, my small business is still in uh, the clutches of the lockdown. I'm in the state of California, so most of my clients are still on lockdown. As you may have heard me mention, I have a pet services business, so the end of the business that I'm in is walking dogs. That's primarily the service that I offer. So when the folks, when the clients are at home, they uh, generally will walk their own dogs. So anyway, that gives me license to try to use this time the most efficiently as I can. So I'm going through my long, years long to-do list and trying to get uh, done some of the things that have been on the list for a long time. One of those key items is something called a go bag. A go bag is just what it sounds like. A bag that contains every single thing that you need. Now, I'm talking about highly essential items. So I'm not talking about um, things that you would use to go traveling. But the idea is the same. When you go traveling on vacation, you are thinking about the clothes that you uh, would need for the environment, um, the weather that you're going to be in of the place where you're traveling to. Uh, if you're a lady, you're definitely going to bring your makeup and some of your cute clothes. If you're going on a beach vacation, you probably bring your bathing suits. Um, if you're going hiking, you're going to bring hiking boots and things of that nature. In this case, the go bag I'm talking about is an emergency go bag that has enough uh, essential items in it that it could get you back home if you are stranded away from home or to the next safe place. So the first thing I want to point out to you is the type of go bag I'm using right now that this could change. But as of today, the type of go bag I'm going to use is one of my old travel bags. And that's because it has plenty of interior space as you will see. It also has wheels if you guys can see that okay so it has wheels and it's a duffel bag so it's soft and it would be able to be configured in a number of ways and it has multiple handles as well as one of these pull out handles so you would be able to pull that out and move quickly or sling it over your back if necessary because it does have some straps or handles and you would be able to use it and uh, move as quickly as possible, okay? So that's just an idea. This is what I'm using. What you may choose to use, uh, you know, may suit your own needs. And also there is a um, waterproof bag available. This one is not waterproof, so I may switch out to a waterproof bag. But for right now, I just want to get the uh, project done. The next thing I want to point out is some of the types of clothes that I'm using. Now, most of the clothes that I'm using here are clothes that are in good condition, but clothes that I don't use very often, so I wouldn't uh, miss their presence. I have a couple of pairs of pants here, and this is one type of pants I want to show you. Um, it is called a cargo pant. And if you're unfamiliar with it, a cargo pants is just what it sounds like. It has a number of different types of pockets. So here might fit a cell phone or a pocket knife or something of that nature. Here, these are Velcro pockets that can fit any number of uh, types of things as well. Car keys, cell phone, um, you know, credit cards, food, whatever it is. Uh, then you then you have regular types of pockets, and then you have places where you could hold a carabiner or tie something on if you needed to. And then even these back areas here 
our pockets. The reason that cargo pants are so important is because a cargo pants is made out of really durable material, very, very durable material. And um, with all of the pockets, if you did not have a bag or anything else on you, you would be able to carry a lot of cargo in these different pockets and keep them safe because the Velcro, even after years, I've, I bought these pants used and I have already used them for two years and the Velcro is still strong. And, you know, there's no, despite my frequent going up in weight and coming down in weight and whatever, the, uh, the seams and everything have held real strong. The only bad thing about cargo pants is that if they get wet, it is a heavy material. So, um, you know, it would be heavy on you for a while. But I strongly suggest that you go ahead and get a pair of cargo pants now because these are the types of things that would last um, a long time if you had to be on the go, um, you know, in an emergency situation. I'm also including several different shirts, and some of them are long sleeve shirts, uh, just in case you aren't able to get to a coat or um, the coat or whatever the conditions, weather conditions, you know, um, would be best with uh, with long sleeves. I think you should include long sleeve shirts because, contrary to popular demand, it's actually not getting cool warmer. It's going to get cooler. We're in the midst of a grand solar minimum, and so we're really going to start to see the effects of that on a day-to-day, -day, um, you know, pretty soon here. But anyway, you want to bring a few shirts, you know, things that you may not use too much, but include some long sleeve shirts if you can. And then also, I have shirts with hoods on them to uh, give my head additional covering as well. So here's a hood there. Um, you got your underwear, so don't forget your underwear. And again, <laughs> my cute underwear is not in the go bag, okay? I use my cute underwear on the regular. <laughs> All right, I want you to remember to put in some socks as well. I have tube socks here because um, you know, I think they would go, they would be a lot more useful in, in an emergency situation where you can't get to your normal clothes than, um, than, you know, cut off shop socks. I wear ankle length socks every day, uh, cause I do do a lot of walking every day, but in an emergency situation, I'd want to have my tube socks, which you don't see here right now, uh, walking shoes. Now, these are the walking shoes that I currently use every day, but I'm going to put an older um, pair in the go bag for right now. And what I'm doing is, as I use a pair to the point where I should go and get a new pair, then I switch that and put that in the walking bag. What you do not want to have in your go bag, rather, what you do not want to have in your go bag is a brand new pair of shoes that you've never walked in. Uh, that would cause you extreme pain, and in a, an emergency situation, it might cost you, um, you know, your life because you wouldn't be willing to, you couldn't or wouldn't be willing to walk very fast. Don't forget to include some toiletries. I've got a couple of uh, deodorants here, and what you may not have known, hope you can see that, is that deodorant has an expiration date. So when you're putting these things in your go bag, you want to put the freshest things that you can find in your go bag and collect in case your go bag sits around for a couple of years uh you don't want that money wasted so in a moment i'll talk about tools that you can use to remind yourself of of your go bag to check your go bag on the regular so that you can uh trade out fresh things for older things and use those older things before they um they expire you also see that i have a couple of bars of soap here um, I've got a self-adhesive bondage, uh, that, um, along with a first aid kit. Now for right now, this is what my first aid kit looks like, just this little bit here and this bondage, but I am going to go and get some regular size boxes of bandage just for the go bag, along with, you know, uh, antiseptic like uh, alcohol or something of this nature. Also, ladies, um your feminine hygiene products. So
such as uh, tampons and maxi pads or uh, what it, yeah, maxi pads, those will make fantastic first aid tools as well. If you get a cut, a, a deep cut or, um, you know, heaven forbid, something like a wound, those uh, tampons and, um, and uh, maxi pads uh, are good for absorbing blood. So I would carry whether or not you still have your monthly. I no longer have my monthly, but I will be putting a box of Super Plus tampons as well as a, um, a supply of maxi pads in my go bag to use for um, emergency situations. Um, also, I have some washed cloths. So these are washcloths. I bought them in bulk online. I found that to be substantially cheaper than buying them out of the store. But if you're going to buy them out of the store, one tip is to go and buy them in the baby department. They are always a lot cheaper than when you buy them in the health and beauty department. I don't know why, but they are. Okay. So I have washcloths. And uh, if you don't have toilet paper or um, paper towels or um, Kleenex, which I'm going to put a supply of Kleenex in the, the go box, uh, washcloths will do the trick, okay? These pre-moistened washcloths will do the trick. I also have a pack of antibacterial wipes. This is the Windex brand, but it's supposed to be good on a number of different surfaces. Moving along, uh, you want to include your wash rag, some towels or, you know, whatever might work for you. I also have a, a liquid uh, soap there, and I've got toothbrush and toothpaste. I will be um, adding a couple of uh, regular size uh, toothpaste to uh, to my go bag um, supplies. In addition to these kinds of things, the go bag is called a go bag again because you're dealing with an emergency situation. So be sure to include food in your go bag. Here, I've got a supply of Vienna sausages. I have, I don't, have not had a Vienna sausage since I was a little kid. And so um, hopefully, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind eating it, but I've got a Vienna sausage, I've got sardines, something else that I have not eaten since I was a little kid. I've also got some uh, chicken breasts. You want these different types of proteins in your go bag because you'll need them. I also have pears here pretty much uh, just to show you a variety of canned goods. I will also put a few pasta, cans of pasta type dishes like ravioli or um, spaghettios or things of that nature in the go bag because what you want in there along with crackers and I'm also going to put a jar of peanut butter in the go bag. What you want are things that you can eat a very little bit of and feel full for a long period of time. Now, if you are a pet owner, if you are a pet owner, you also need to put a supply of pet food in your go bag. I know some people will say, no, that's just doing too much. I mean, it's a dog. But let me remind you that um, you are a steward over the life of that animal. So. Uh, if you have taken that animal, if you have ownership of the animal, then you have stewardship of it. Un you know, that's the way God sees it. So, you know, um, abandoning an animal um, just because you're too lazy to take care of the animal or because you haven't thought things through or because you didn't make a plan for that animal in your emergency proceedings, that's, that's just foul. That's foul. And really, there's no justification for it. If there's one thing, if the animal runs away in the height of an emergency, well, then, you know, you just got to say, I pray the Lord take care of you and move, keep it moving. It's another thing if, the, if, if you have, um, it's another thing for you to deliberately leave the animal behind. No water, no food, no nothing. And it's been dependent on you, you know, uh, for its life. So, um there, that just is not justified, and I'm not going to keep going on about it, but uh, it's beginning to happen more and more, even with just this little two months of being under this lockdown. All right. 
When you are talking about food, you also need a can opener. So make sure that you put in your go bag a can opener that works. Make sure that you know how to use it and make sure that it works. Make sure you have either some plastic forks or you go you know, to the store and get you a couple of pairs or depending on how many people in your family get you a few sets of uh, cutlery that you can use. Make sure that that includes a knife. Uh, that is sharp enough to really cut things. You know, you don't want just a butter knife because uh, that won't be as big a help to you. So you can have a butter knife, but make sure you have a sharp knife as well. Um, other things that you may want to include in your go bag could be, uh, like I have a hand cranked um, uh, shortwave uh, radio. I can't get to it easily right now, otherwise it would be in the video. But a hand crank, crank uh, shortwave um, radio is what I meant to say. A hand crank shortwave radio. I have that. Um, and uh, you'll also see some vitamin type things that I have here. Vitamin D in case you're um, stuck inside somewhere for a long time. Vitamin D will help keep you uh, equalized and um, just like the sun. Uh, iron. Uh, in case, again, you get stuck inside somewhere. I'm also going to add vitamin C to this as well. Um, and then one of the last things you want to make sure that you have is what I call a SHTF <laughs> pack. And what is an SHTF pack? Well, that's some cash. That's some cash on hand. So uh, you don't have to go to an ATM. If they shut the ATMs off, you have cash and you're good to go um, until, of course, they stop using cash, which will happen pretty soon here. But for right now, cash is still king, and so you can use that cash. Um, and let's see, one other thing I want to mention is that when my go bag is complete, I will also have a copy of my ID in it and um, uh, emergency numbers as well as um, uh, emergency, uh, copies of the credit cards as well that I use. Now, you know, probably you would be using your go bag with your car and so maybe your, your ID would already be in your purse or your wallet would be easy to grab. But by having copies of things, if for some reason you get se um, separated from your, wa your wallet, you at least have a way of proving your identity or using numbers to, to get access to resources that may help you. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure on this Waste Not Wednesday that we don't waste the opportunity that is afforded by this lockdown to do some of the things that we should be getting done anyway, uh, like a, an emergency kit. And if you live with someone other than yourself, every single person in the household should have a go bag ready for them, even the children. And with the children's go bags, you might think about including a special toy or some games that they like to play, things that will keep them from panicking while you figure out, you know, what, what to do next. Of course, you also want to put a flashlight in here. I have one, I have a couple of flashlights, and so I'll be putting that in there. Lighters, you'll want to use those as well. The long-handled handled lighters that you might use to start a fire will be great for your go bag. Um, if there are other items you can think of as well, be sure to leave them in the comment box and let me know if this video was helpful to you. All right, this is your Negro with Aptitude signing off and uh, look forward to seeing you next time on the Blackboard.